Well then, Edelgard, what is this new information regarding those who slither in the dark? And can I assume it is somehow related to her inexplicable presence at this meeting? Hey, Liz. How's it going? Indeed, Lysithia. For you see, she is the same as us. Yet another poor soul whose fate has been bent to their nefarious will. It can't be. Then the rumors about Happy are true? Her powers came from their experiments? Yup. What, you didn't believe it? I did not, in fact. Rather, I assumed it was a lie you told to keep others away, or else slander spread by arrival. A bit overboard for slander, don't you think? But still, I'm actually glad you didn't believe it. Hmm. So the monsters that appeared at the base the other day... Yeah, that was me sighing about one thing or another. But the bird covered for me. I had my suspicions, but it's good to hear the truth. I presume we're ready to move on to the main topic. That is, if you're following all of this. Oh, I know all about Happy's situation. Good, that makes things easier. Now then, Happy's captor was a woman named Cornelia, the kingdom's former court mage. Apparently, she is also one of those who slither in the dark. When the kingdom learned she was planning an insurrection, they rallied an army and defeated her. But is she truly dead? A cunning woman like her might have secured a body double and escaped. We've no way to confirm for ourselves, and can only trust the kingdom was thorough in this regard. Anyway, we think we found one of her old hideouts. Seems like it might be worth checking out. Based on what we've been able to extrapolate from Happy's testimony, this base is somewhere in the western portion of the kingdom. With the war's front having moved further north, we're currently well positioned to investigate. Oh, so that's why it took you so long to look into this. You had to wait for the war's tide to shift and grant you an opportunity. And what? I'm just extra muscle in case any baddies show up? Or does this have something to do with my power? For now, you are merely serving as additional steel. However, it's possible we might find a connection between Happy's power and your own. And though it might end up being nothing, I'd very much appreciate it if you came along. Sure thing. I mean, it's my job to protect you anyway. Well, my and Hubert's job. Say, where is Hubert anyway? He usually jumps at the chance to be involved in this kind of thing. Hubert has a good deal on his plate already. Now let's be off. With any luck, this won't take long. I pray we might finally dispel the darkness that haunts us all. Alright, so the chapter that we're currently in kind of hinted at those who slither in the dark being like the big bads behind the, uh, behind the freaking stuff that's going on in this chapter, the riots and whatnot. But I have a feeling it's Duke Iyer, and maybe they're just doing this paralogue here to, uh, you know, cover the those who slither in the dark stuff for right now. Hey, yeah, allies are routed. So, ooh, I mean, I can always give you something like that. Oh, but you, uh, you probably want that, and that thing is, like, super powered up now and whatnot. Since we unlocked its true power. So, yeah, I mean, I could always put you into your master class, but... I mean, hold on. Just want to make sure that everyone's got, like, combat arts that they can use out of these, uh, of this group. I mean, I guess I can go through everybody really quickly. Let's see if there's any level threes. I don't think there is. I think we cycle around. So, what kind of enemies are there going to be? So there's going to be, like, Lance Dudos that Edelgard can deal with. There's going to be Bow Dudos that Happy can deal with. There's going to be Axe Dudos that maybe my unit should deal with then. Maybe this will be the time that we go into Assassin. Maybe that's what's going on here and whatnot. Sure, yeah, we can do that. Um, can Edelgard support with Happy or Lysithia? There. Um, not exactly. I can just send Lysithia, like, her way. Wait, don't... Doesn't my unit have, like, maxed out affinity with Happy, though? Didn't we get, like, the final conversation? Where, yeah, maxed out. So I guess I'll send, like, Lysithia to me and then Happy to Edelgard. Or Happy can be separate. Something like that. Maybe, maybe. 
Oh, I can't swap them. I can't swap them around. Look how much happy we'll be able to do. Maybe I should have her pair up with Edelgard, because I might actually have her be doing, like, a decent bit of work, you know? Because, yeah, that could be pretty big there. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, go ahead and save here and whatnot. Let's move it about and begin the battle. But, yeah, I do hope that, you know, the stress going on there isn't too much. Hopefully the pros are, you know, outweighing the cons and whatnot. And all that fun stuff there. Um, well, not fun, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean there. So, yeah, how about we do this then? Yeah, how about we do that? I don't know why I immediately start doing that when I don't have any bar right now. Find Cornelia's base. Do I want S? I don't ever get S ranked in these freaking paralogs. It doesn't ever happen, you know. Never happens on the first go through. Sword is better than axe. Wow. Those are slither in the dark deployed reinforcements. Ew. Ew. Okay, well. Time for the uh, super crazy tome that's like good against armored and uh, these dudos to hopefully shred you pretty well. Come on. Come on, please. Boop it up. But yeah, hopefully the uh, hopefully the grind and whatnot there will uh, will be something that you'll be able to look back on and, you know, with appreciation to rather than like the stress that it is right now, I hope. And hopefully things are able to turn around in regards to that. Hopefully. Whoa! A little bit of craziness. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think Happy's just gonna go around shredding dudos. Is, I think, what's going on here. Yep, this is the, uh, this is the play, I'd say. Will it open the gates to that, though? Will it open the gates to the thing? I hope it does. Hopefully. Oh, I thought my other trap that was over here was, like, still there and that you were charging into it for a hot second. I was hoping. Did it not open the gate? Wow. Wow, sucks to suck. Here goes. So I guess go like all the way around. Or I mean, maybe chill there for now. Just because uh, maybe when I do this, maybe the gates will open. Maybe? So if you start working on that little outpost for now, actually. But yeah, don't worry about that there, Guzma. Don't worry about that. Okay, neat. Can I break that? Yes. I could try going for S, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, hopefully it does, uh, hopefully it does help. I do know that, you know, you were taking a little bit of a break from, a uh, Discord and such for a while. Like, just distancing from, a uh, from things there. Here goes. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'll have to do that then, I guess. I guess that's what we're doing. Okay, yeah, around we go. I'll just be my unit because my unit's going to be faster here. So may as well. Okay, hi. Okay, hi. How's it going? Moral struggle's the other one. That's the thing where Bob, where it like, always forces the weak point gauge, but like I receive a lot of damage, I'm fairly certain. Oh my good gracious, that damage is insane. Why? What the heck? What the heck was that? Gosh dang it! Well, that was basically pointless. That was basically pointless there. Well. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah, this is um a little bit of thorough madness. <sighs> my oh my. Yeah, it probably is something good to like stay on the grind with for now and whatnot. Like, if it's really, really making you miserable, then it's something that you wouldn't want to stay in long term. But even the experience that you're getting now is something that's, you know, going to be incredible down the line. So worst case scenario, it'll be like something good to be on the grind or for now and be incredible on a resume and stuff, you know. So even if you don't stay in it long term, it'll still, you know, have long term benefits, right? Basically. All right. Seize the stronghold to stop the ballista. I'll do that here shortly. What you doing? You're doing your tornado thing. Okay, stop shooting me. Stop the thing, my Bob. But yeah, yeah. If it's absolute misery, then you don't want to be, don't want to be doing that. But as long as it's not too terribly bad, may as well, uh, 
keep on for like a while, but if it is like really bad, it might not be a bad idea to also be on the lookout for like other potential opportunities. Ah, I had like a weird hiccup there and whatnot. Stuck in a position where the only line cook that knows how to work your station in the morning. So if they very much rely on you, doesn't that also give you like some decent leeway? <laughs> if they need you super desperately? Maybe, maybe. It's just my opinion there. <laughs> All right, well. Okay, my unit probably needs to get to work over here. Music's so dang good. Sure, let's my asthma. Ah, my asthma! Oh, my asthma! Okay, stop. Stop shooting at me. So dang rude. Okay. Now let me grab this while I'm here. Oh, I thought that was a blue thing, but it's a durability thing. I mean, I'll take a durability thing as well. I mean, yeah, I'll take it. I will definitely take it. But yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's the way that it can be in some, uh, in some businesses there. Okay, if that other archer could come over here so I could attack them both at once, that'd be really, really cool. Maybe I can kind of push you over to him. This will definitely get them both. This will definitely get both of them. And what not. I mean, it does seem like a very exact kind of work where everything needs to be just right, I guess. It does kind of seem like it. Let's do it again, how about? I have, like, a bunch charged up anyway. So may as well. The music of this game is so good. Such a good soundtrack. So dang good. Bam. Okay, well... We did that. Gosh dang it. Watch, this one I'm gonna miss getting the S, not because of like the time, but because of uh, how much damage I take. It's gonna suck, man. Okay, start dealing with things over there, how about? Maybe, maybe. Boopity bop. What the, he goes. Man, you lived! Oh, never mind, you didn't because of uh, landing on the ground there. Okay. Here goes. So, okay, yeah. Happy can uh, loop around this way. Breathing. Loop around that away. Well, it sounds like you're in like a really good position for someone with, you know, that level of experience there. And that alone is something to be proud of, I would say. In my personal opinion in the matter. Okay. Music is so dang good. Love it so much. I'd heal, but being at low health, I don't think that they're gonna, you know, take off that much of my health here anyway. And it incentivizes me more to play better by not getting damaged if I don't heal. You know, is the way that I see it. That's why I'm not healing right now. Because <laughs> anyone's wondering. I mean... All right, has an advantage there, not like an ultra advantage. Oh, but has the ultra advantage at the one down south, so. Maybe capture this one for now. Maybe, maybe. Nice, you'll love to see it. Hmm. Do I really want to try going for S rank and whatnot? Yeah, that's something good to keep in mind there as well, is that one person can only do so much at the end of the day. Can I knock you into the uh, thing, Bob? there? Maybe I can, like... Maybe I can send you this way to get, like, the Stronghold Captain as well. Will be nice. Okay, I guess I'm not doing that. Okay, now the AI used the concoction to heal. Probably not a bad thing, though. No. Oh, my good gracious. Did they trap me in? The gates to the kitchen closed. What is, <laughs> what is this? Being stuck in Guzma's job? I was trapped in the kitchen. No, I'm sorry. That was a... <laughs> That might have been a bit distasteful, but that was the first thing that I thought of there when it was like the doors to the kitchen closed. Gosh dang it. Yeah, I'm going to take too much damage. I'm going to take too much damage here. It's going to suck. Okay. Well. Seize the kitchen. That's what you got to do, Guzma. You got to seize the kitchen. <laughs> That's... Ah! Gosh darn you. There's more of them. There's even more of them. So we're gonna go ahead and switch a Roo here in that case. It's funny, I should probably be using like Edelgard's super powered up axe, but this like tome with its effectiveness is just like so spicy spice, you know? Here 
is the case. All right, so start going all the way down here. My good gracious, what the heck is going on over here? I see a lot of enemies around here. But yeah, what's f funny about businesses, they don't want to hire you unless you have experience. But how do you get experience by being hired somewhere? Yeah, I mean, most, I swear, like most modern employers are looking for people like Ash Ketchum, a 10-year-old with 20 years of experience. <laughs> you know, <laughs> This is what it feels like a lot of modern employers are looking for. Maybe not in like the age of Ash Ketchum kind of thing, but in like the experience law being more than his age. You know, essentially. Okay. Hey, I remember this room. Yeah, all right. I wonder if there's anything here. No. Yeah, I'm gonna get too much damage. Yeah, I've gotten all my jobs through referrals. I've lucked out there. Okay, don't be smacking me, please. Okay, gates to the guardhouse closed. That's fine. They're gonna open like right now. What? Are they not opening right now? Defeat the mysterious soldiers and rescue the imprisoned allies from the guardhouse. Oh. So it doesn't open up even after yoinking it? Really? Okay. Yeah, how about no? Come on. I should just use Astra is what I should do. Gosh dang it. Yeah, no S rank for me. Gosh darn it. Well, I know I never get S rank during like the first try of these paralogs. But it still doesn't want me from, you know, wanting to go for it and such. My goodness gracious. Yeah, I guess we'll just beat it. For now is what'll be the play. Okay, well. My oh my. Boop it and bop. Boop it and bop. Yeah, it does still sound like, you know, you're in a very crazy position when it comes to, like, the amount of experience that you have. And that is something to be uh, proud of there. The cooking prodigy right there. Just be freaking Explorers of Sky. The special episode 2, Iggly Buff the Prodigy, except, like, in cooking rather than exploring. <laughs> That's the uh, play, right? Surely. Did that not open the thing? Do I have to go around all the sides? I guess maybe I shouldn't have been, like, paired up like that then. Ooh, yoink. Hi. Yeah, this is, um, irksome, isn't it? Yeah, let's get them all together and then do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Don't get the manager came at you so hard one of the other employees stepped in to defend you like it was bad. There's a reason I only stayed there three weeks. Jeez. I've, I've gotten really lucky with, like, my jobs I've, I've had and whatnot. Like... There was never any, uh, you know, I've never had to deal with, like, any, uh, harassment or anything like that or any mistreatment. When I was working for Weiss Johnson and doing duck cleaning, our boss would sometimes, like, make fun of my partner and I, but in, like, joking ways where it's like we all get a laugh out of it, is the thing. Like, I, re I remember in, so in duck cleaning, we would have, like, this big vacuum truck, and you would attach, like, this very long hose essentially to the truck and then attach it to like the furnace to help suck out all the dust from the ventilation systems and such and uh they kept this really big hose kept its circular shape with these like metal rings in it and sometimes one of the metal rings would snap and there would be like a big metal spike sticking out the side and it would be kind of dangerous and you have to like cut it off and whatnot so i remember there was this one time that we were coming in from a day of work and like checking in with our boss and whatnot and uh when we were telling about like what happened for the day we were like yeah it was pretty alrighty but and my partner was saying like but you know another one of the uh, metal thing robs came out of the uh, vacuum hose and our boss was just like well cut it off then and my work partner was like but it's hard so uh, our boss uh, turns over he takes off his glasses and he goes okay this can go one of two ways one you can suck it up and go do it or two I can go do it, make it look easy, and then make fun of you for the next week. Which one would you prefer? I'm good either way. And my work partner was like, I'll go do it. <laughs> so, so there was that. So yeah, our, uh, our boss of that job would, uh, you know, make fun of us, but just in like joking ways like that, where it's like everyone gets a kick out of it, you know, or, uh, or there was this one time where, uh, well, the work truck that we were using there was brand new literally like it only had a few kilometers on it when we started using it Like it was brand new there was the case um, 
and we noticed when the windshield was a little bit dirty coming back one day and we tried to use like the windshield washer that no uh no windshield washer stuff was coming out even though it sounded like something was happening so we reported that to our boss and he uh he comes and has a look at the truck and he goes to the little nozzles that are supposed to like spray out the windshield washer fluid and he turns them from upside down to right side up so they're pointed at the L windows and, and then he gives us like the sage advice of like okay 90% of your problems in life can be solved by looking at it. Yeah, that, that's it. 90% of your problems in life can be solved by looking at it, is what it was. And it's like, yeah, that's, that's a good point, isn't it? That's probably a pretty decent point right there. So, you know, <laughs> there's a, there's that. So yeah, luckily I've uh, never had to deal with like any positions with, you know, employers that I didn't like or anything like that. Like, the only time I ever had a boss, like, you know, making fun of us or whatnot was, uh, working out weeks, but it was in, like, joking ways where it's like everyone gets a kick out of it was the thing. So, so there was that. There was that. Sometimes if I'm going by the area, this was, like, several years ago that I was working there. But sometimes I'll, um, you know, if I'm in the area, I'll stop by and say hi from time to time. I don't remember my, uh, <laughs> this was a few months ago. My boss from like several years ago when I uh, went in there since I was in the area when I stopped in and said hi um, He was asking me if I was still studying like video games and whatnot And I said yeah, I was and he was like all right put a reference to me in the first game that you make <laughs> I was like, okay <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do maybe but yeah, so um So there's that Dang it did I miss completely wow I'm so bad I'm so bad at the freaking video games. Holy crap. So yeah, there's a uh, there's that. In fact, I'm fairly certain he was uh, actually over at our place like just a few months ago as well, helping us install a new AC unit. So that was a uh, that was that. But yeah, I've been a uh, I've been quite fortunate in my in my positions. My uh my job that I'm working nowadays as part of a uh, as part of a research team at my university on various on various studies. My boss there is technically my mom, and that's been, like, my reference to do that. So I've been helping out with, like, studies on the side here and there ever since, like, late junior high. Ever since late junior high school, and now I've just, you know, wrapped up my fifth year of university. So I've been working there, like, a long time with, like, some stuff on the side. It's only been, like, recently that I've been, you know, going in for more regular hours and whatnot during the summer. But it's funny, at the, uh, at the university, your boss technically can't be, like, someone that you share a relation to because they're worried that, you know, if they're your boss, they might give you like some leniency and whatnot. So on paper, my boss is uh, my boss is actually someone else is the thing. But <laughs> my actual boss, whenever I ask him about anything, he's just like, I don't know, ask your mom. She's your boss <laughs> is what he always uh, is what he always answers me is the thing. So <laughs> that's funny. I don't think I've mentioned it during Fire Emblem. I know I've mentioned it during some uh, playthrough before. Maybe it was Fire Emblem. I don't remember, but what with uh coming in and working after a long time of not being there physically what with covid and whatnot i uh you know went and saw him in person for the first time in a long time and he's this uh, he's this very british guy and uh when he saw me for the first time in a long time he was like that is a fine mustache is what he uh is what he told me there so yeah there's a uh there's that so yeah i've been uh, i've been very fortunate with employers and i'm sorry that i haven't been keeping up with the uh the lore over there of what's going on and now the chat's high enough that i can't even see like the beginning so i don't know the uh i don't know the lore anymore i'm sorry all right let's go defeat the uh mysterious soldiers how about sure my unit can deal with that one and happy can deal with like two of them and whatnot you know we can go ahead and do that. This is what we shall do. This is the plan. This is the plan. Again, I'm not on top of the lore now, so I apologize. You're gonna do your big spin. You're gonna do your big spin tornado. How have I not ever done that with like one of my snipers? At least I don't think I have. I don't think I have at least. Mayhap not. I can still fight. But can you? But can you though? Yeah, I... I'll get S-rank another time when I'm coming back to this. That is my plan there. Boop it bop. I'll even do, like, the big beam this time. Do the big spear of light. I don't often do it, but I did it this time. Okay, there we go. 
Yeah, I should be trying out Edelgard's new, like, beefed up weapon. Yeah, basically. Ow. <laughs> I want to try out Edelgard's new beefed up weapon, but, like, Happy just has an advantage against, like, so many dudos is the, uh, is the thing, you know? An advantage against so many of them. So, just kind of... What? I pressed X, I swear. Wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that to, uh, to go quite like that. What? I was trying to activate my trap, but then it, poof, vanished. But then it was gone, so. Come on. Lay down some traps. This is what we can do. The traps are pretty spicy. The traps are decently spicy here. How about we do this? We can go ahead and do that. I mean, I have plenty of durability on my thing. I just only have one more vulnerary. And with the life force in play, it is a little bit sketchy. Screw I'm gonna use one of these. I have all of them, like, charged up and whatnot. But yeah, I am sorry to hear about, you know, the stress that's going on there. And whatnot, Guzma. If it is gonna, like, keep on being that stressful, it might be good to, you know, figure out something else for in the future because you don't want something that, you know, drives you up the wall or whatnot. Don't exactly want that. But, for now, at least, it's probably, you know, good on you for, like, sticking at it as long as you have, you know. Shows a lot of determination and willpower there, even as is. And whatnot, I feel like. Okay, boop it bop this way we go. I could always activate my awakening, is what I could do. Is there a uh, health thing around here? Because I never thought I would actually need it, but because of life force, I do. I wonder if I should keep running a life force. Like, it's just for the combat arts. It's not, like, regular damage. I mean, I do- there is the other thing Bob as well that does increase your regular damage, but increases the damage, like, sustained to you. But, I don't know whether I want to be running it or not. I am undecided. Okay, so, this away. Yeah, it takes a little bit of practice getting this, uh, this ZR thing Bob quite right. Yeah, I'm gonna do this, sure. I'm gonna do this, I think. Okay. Okay, boobity bop. <laughs> I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Mira Seer. Oh, yeah. This was definitely the time to activate Awakening then. This was definitely the time. But, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that is indeed often the case. My goodness gracious. Yep, this was definitely the time for Awakening. My goodness gracious. Yeah, like I said, I'm not trapped in here with you. <laughs> do we get a weapon? What do we get? So... Should I deactivate my awakening then? Secret passage opened. Hmm. Hmm. So I gotta go like way around for this now though. This is what I gotta do. Okay, so we gotta go through the secret tunnel. Secret tunnel! Uh, sure, you can keep fighting there. Happy, have fun. I did not use Edelgard during this battle at all, did I? <laughs> I mean, there's probably gonna be a boss over there with like Cornelia, right? So I'll bring Happy over here as well, you know? Is what I should probably do. Whoa, I messed up there. Messed up a little smidge there. But yeah. Yeah, I guess I've gotten really, really lucky with uh, my positions and good management and whatnot. Thank goodness for that. Bam. Give me the funds. Wish I knew how much that actually gave me. How many have met their ends here? Be it alliance... Empire or kingdom, their evil has left its mark everywhere. <sighs> sure, some experience there. I don't know if the thing's about to end. What triggered the door mechanism? Oh, yes. Could my brethren have fallen? Yes. Oh, this appeared. Oh, this. Okay. Sure, just to get some combat art experience before the end. Okay. Okay. 
Can I do a heal from here? No, I don't think so. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. And yeah, I believe it there. Because the game freaking says that you're an enemy and you're attacking me. Here, I'm just gonna get combat art experience before then. Because again, may as well. Yeah, this hits really hard now that we've awakened its true power. Holy crap. It's insane. Can't believe I didn't use Edelgard this whole map just because Happy had liked the uh, Slayer Tome thing, Bob, you know? How could he not know? How could he not know why kids love the delicious taste of... Hubert should be able to tell us more. Okay. That is what we shall do. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that seems very, very ludicrous there. Well, first time reward talisman, at least. Hey, Hadelgard was hyped, at least. All right, what kind of level up we getting? Oh, jeez, real a bad one. Holy crap! Freaking sucks. That's, nice. That's better, at least. One's a decent bit better, at least. The MVP, yeah. I'm on. I honestly thought that it was probably going to be happy, but twas not. Well, there's some decent speed. There's that. All right, we leveled up Astra to level two. Neat. We got a decent bit of experience with my asthma. Oh, my asthma. All right, and now we're a master assassin from all the assassins pre playthroughs we've done on this channel, I guess. A new power. All right. Cool. I had this talent Offensive tactics. Heck yeah. This not be one sweet, of sweet. That's what you like to see right there. Okay. Cool. Cool, bam. All right, well, yeah, we got, we got that there. I thought for sure we'd find better info in this place. And also that I'd be way more freaked out. Although, it seems like it was a different experience for you and Liz, eh, Eddie? I can't claim to be as disaffected as you, but I'm fine. No need to put on a brave face, Edelgard. I feel terrible, and I'm certain you do as well. It's just that nothing ever bothers Happy. In that case, I feel as if I've just gone digging through an entire crate of old nightmares. And yes, this base seems mostly abandoned now. But who knows how many found themselves chained to operating tables while Cornelia was still alive. That kind of thing happened to all of you, right? Well, I'm glad you made it out the other side. Now we got to fight together like this. We were lucky, that was all. Sometimes I wonder if we were the lucky ones. Anyway, why don't we get out of here before more jerks decide to crash the party? Good idea. Nothing like a nice bed and a warm meal to lift your spirits after something like this. So long as that meal contains something sweet. Sweet? Uh, sure. All right. Why not? Tea time it is, then. For all four of us. Let's hurry back. I mean, if that's all right with the two of you. Of course. I'm actually growing fond of our weird little band. Still, you sure you're okay with me crashing your tea party with Eddie? Seems like you guys do that a lot. Actually... I believe Monica is the one who has tea with Edelgard most frequently. No, it's definitely you, Lysithia. And then Ferdinand. Don't forget about yourself. I've seen the two of you hoisting cups on more than one occasion. I had no idea everyone was so interested in my habits. You make it sound like all I do is drink tea. Oh no, if anything, you don't drink enough. You're always working yourself too hard. But you could stand to work more, Happy. And while we're on the subject of change, let's talk about Lysithia and her sweets addiction. I beg your pardon? Why, I barely have any interest in sweet things at all! And it's hardly fair to compare my work ethic with, you know, an emperor. I said what I said, and I stand by it. How rude! As punishment, I demand you give me your daily dessert ration from now on. Don't make me sigh at you, pal. Oh dear, you were all so very odd. But I'm still delighted to count you all as allies. Well, at least someone's enjoying herself. <laughs> <laughs>